we're making an interactive to-do list. We're going to make our to-do list come alive. Here's how it works. Anytime we check off one of our chores we do, it actually changes the text to what we did. So instead of just a checkbox, it actually is changing the text. So how we do this is, let's just get our to-do over here. Um, we're going to do a checkbox in column D. I'll just build it right next to it. So we're going to go insert checkbox. Nothing special about the checkbox yet. In the to-do column, we're going to do equal sign, and then we're going to do the formula if. Now, if takes three arguments. First, it takes a logical expression like a true or false statement. And what that true or false statement is for us is the checkbox. So we'll refer to D4 here. That's the checkbox. The checkbox, when it's unchecked, is false. And when it's checked, is true. So what we need to do, right, see, when you make the comma, it'll tell you false. It is. And so what we first do is a value if true, then we put the value of false. So right now it's false. So we need to put it, what is the result? So we go laundry dropped off. And then we put the comma and put the value of false, which is now unchecked, it's false. We say drop off laundry. Now, it's really cool here, Google Sheets will tell us as we fill out a formula what the result is. So it'll tell us right here, drop off laundry. So we hit enter, and it says drop off laundry. Perfect. Now we just do the same exact thing for dishes clean, clean dishes, vacuum floor, floor vacuumed, and we can do this all the way down. The only issue with this is going to be, we can just take this, um, paste it there, Go here, dishes clean. The only issue is that what if we want to change these items, right? Like what if we realize we, we misspelled this? We have to double click, we have to go in here and edit it. Now this is an absolutely great way to do it because um, it keeps it clean. This uh, E4 column, uh, E column and E4 row is the only row you'll see, you don't see anything else here. But sometimes we have data, sometimes we're not doing a chore list, we actually want to see what is the checked and unchecked state. So down here we have uh, two columns, a checked state and an unchecked state. And when we do our formula, it's actually only references to three other um, uh, cells here. So it acts exactly the same. But we're referencing here, so I'll show you this. So we just go, if we do the same thing, B13 is the, the checkbox. Now we want, what's our false state? That is going to be unchecked. That'll be F13. And then what is our checked state? That'll be E13. The other way around, E13 and then F13. See, it told us right here. So now, drop off laundry, laundry dropped off. So we say, we have three arguments there. They're just each referencing a different cell. And that's how you make an interactive to-do list.